Hey, I'll finally be back here and happy new year. So I thought, as a new Chucky said, there's the least her part four of video game characters or females in video games or what it's called. I thought I'd do my top ten video game characters. I, I even encourage you to do so because she that need to. I'm not gonna have a go at you, but but I'm going to try and gauge with you by by presenting ten characters. And there's going to be simple rules. They can't be anything to swap for a character. They have to be playable. They and they have to be somebody who aren't reliant on the men in their relationship in their world. So here we go. Here's my top ten female characters. So first character is Samus. Uh, from the Metroid series. Now the reason she isn't higher on this list is because Metroid I mean, totally destroyed and broke her character and never been which way but loose. And I thought, why not? She's the number ten. Because Metroid as good as she is, Metroid the other ten is a get character killer. But she's still badass and that's the reason she's my number ten. Number nine, uh, one of my personal favourites, Tifa from uh, Final Fantasy VII. I know people can say, where's Ares? Sorry, I don't like Ares. I like Tifa. Tifa can beat up a robot with her bare hands. Tifa is somebody who gets tries to get off his ass and do something. Tifa is the I'm a dust of the badass league in Final Fantasy VII. I actually deserves to be on this list. We know Kala, Kala from, from Indigo Prophecies, Fahrenheit, whatever it's called, in your local area. She is badass. One of the things I do like about her is that she's, you know, she's a, a great detective, but the reason she's not higher on this list is because she is responsible for two of the worst levels. Like, well, there's one where there's two breathing levels where you have to control breathing, and like there's one where you have to like visit some guy who's a knocker from Anthony Hopkins from Science of Love, you with that <laughs> thing. So, you know, it's just like, it's like, stop, just stop. By the way, she deserves to be on my list, but if nothing else. Hell yeah, Chudley. Chili is one of the badass women who defined badass women. You know, she did the twirling hurricane kick, she did the she does the uh, leg thing that she does. And she just is awesome. You know, I put her as one of my favourites just because the hurricane kick, I mean the fact that we have got a horrible movie is the reason she's so bottom on this list. But it doesn't take away from the character herself in the video games is badass. This is a shame about the two films we got. Ah, oh, shit. Sonya Blade. Do you want to see the ball? She can kiss people to death. When you use his fire, she's she's pretty badass. She's pretty nimble. She's a she's a warrior. She's a special up special. Arms operative, she's awesome. Now, I don't particularly like with the boob hole, but hey, what are you gonna do? It seems like Power Girl and her have now have boob holes. You know, men want to see what they want to see, I suppose, but still, she's a badass character. Grace Nakamura. Race Nakamura. I don't have to say the more, but Race Nakamura. In, in, in the uh, in 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 the uh, Game Boy Night Two, she's also she's she's she wants yes yeah, she wants to know what he's up to, but she does it all her own. You know she she has to investigate all on her own, and that's the thing I like about Grace is that she's she's somebody who cares about. But about but wants to help him as well, you know. She she's not somebody who's dependent upon it. She she wants to make sure he's awesome in that way, and uh, that's one of the reasons I like it so much. You know, her 
her her character is so well defined, and and I also like uh, she, you know, she's not dependent upon you. Know, she she helps find Wagner's lost music, lost opera. That's how badass she is. Nico Cola. The reason that she's not higher is that she's associated with that awful number three. Yes, I don't know that number three. I hate the controls. I hate more or less everything about it. I even think number number four is better than that. Now, uh, Nico is industrial. She's a great character. She's beautiful. She's a great journalist. I mean, she. You know, her and George's relationship is very well defined and, and you understand where it is, you know, they're both good looking people. But it's, it's complex, like any romantic or uh, friendship is, and uh, that's one reason I like it so much. I know she's only done one episode, I don't care, it's one great episode, and Clementine is a great character. But it counts because she's playable in the new one. Uh, she is, you know, she's a resourceful little girl who, who who has to go through, you know, growing up a very quick time, otherwise she's going to die. And I, I love the fact that she is, you know, her and the, uh, just so great in the first one, and in the second one you see results of that, and I love that. So, everyone, Clementine from Lock and Dead. That's right, Lara Croft, baby, is going to be my number two. In, you know, she is female video game characters in a nutshell. I know that the people say, oh, but this is one reason she's not my number one, is because, you know, she was, she was like a bit of like video game pervasion for guys, you know, like there's supposed to be things where you can, look, you can you know, get undressed and stuff and. Some guys like that. She's a video game character for God's sake. But anyway, she's still a badass. And in the new one, while I have problems with it, I still think that she comes across like a, a, somebody who survives and gets through things. And she she is somebody who I think is a great video game character and somebody who does define um, the two Raider series for what it is. And uh, I think she is basically the the she's a she's the female equivalent of Nathan Drake. But she's probably better than Nathan Drake because she has more. She survived, she survived more. Anyway, Nile Croft, I tip my hat. And number one, a character that I think is the best female character of, of all time is April Ryan. Yes, April Ryan from Longest Journey and Dreamfall. Now, well, you may say, oh, well, Lara Croft's more famous, true. But April Ryan can travel between worlds. April Ryan saved the entire universe. April Ryan uh, can beat people up. April Ryan is a badass. You know, she, she can speak two languages. She can... She, she can do everything. I mean, she is one of the people who I think is a great... Um, great female character and a great female role model I mean she has a difficult relationship with her father that gets brought up in the, in the, in the game she lives with two lesbians she's she's you know in, in a relationship with some guys and you know she's somebody who's a great role model of you know how to be just industrious and a great character and, and help save the world she saves she doesn't, she doesn't save our world she saves another world as well well, that she 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 stops an evil despot from coming to being. That's what I love about this game is that it's all about her and and, and, and her goodness and, and her overcoming great odds to to help you know save the universe. Anyway, this is, I hope this video has been helpful and Anita. I look forward to any video you do in response. This is Foggy Beyond Sea, Foggy Dreams for the Truth. Out.